Welcome back to week 13. One of the uh, fun things about week 13, um, one of the few things, in my opinion, <laughs> is that uh, we get new tracks every day instead of just um, changing once a week. So we're back in the Mazda, and uh, this time we're uh, at Alton Park, the uh, international configuration. So uh, we're nice and low ranked. It was a, a huge uh, participation. Um, larger than I was expecting anyway. About 200 people signed up. So, um, maybe this is top split, maybe not. Probably like second or third. Or, I don't even know, actually. I could be farther down, because I don't have that high of a road eye rating. It's about 2,090 or something, I think, right now. So, whatever that would put me in. I will find out later, I guess. I'll probably end up putting it in the description, but, um, this time I'm actually using the advanced Mazda setup in the uh, garage, which I'm wondering why I didn't do that before, because I'm putting down much better laps than I would with the, uh, the default, so it makes me wonder what could have been in previous races, but that's all fine. It's harder to control, that's why it's the advanced, I guess, the setup feels really light, so I had to bump my force feedback much higher than I normally have it, just to get a little more feeling. Uh, not sure if that's a real common issue, but, um, ooh, yep. Feels light. I might even put another tick or two in there. I think I will. Um, just want to make sure that I'm feeling something. Oops. There we go. This is just a warm-up lap, so I'm not too concerned about going fast. I want to get everything feeling right before I start going. So, we're going to go ahead and qualify against my better judgment and uh, see how we can do. Hopefully do a little bit better than the last one uh, at the Charlotte Roval, although that wasn't too bad. But uh, I think taking this setup out there might be a little better for me. And, uh, I'm not sure how much fuel I should be putting in it. I normally don't bother with that either. I just use whatever's the default, but it looks like we have about 40 laps of fuel, maybe. Actually, a lot less than that, because it's burning off faster as it's trying to calculate how much it's going to use. So, maybe I'll just leave that how it is. Green, green, green. Not too concerned about it. Honestly, given how light it's feeling, maybe it's better to have some fuel in there to weight down. Okay. Me and my inexperienced self. So, all right, let's see what we can do on this qualifying lap. Don't want to push it too hard. Probably just try to get a solid lap in here first, and then uh, maybe worry about going a little faster the next time through. It's generally a good way for me to go about it, it seems like. Because if I start pushing too hard, then I start running into things and getting those off tracks. And then your lap doesn't count at all, so that's not very good either. Mm, not the best through there. Kind of got off, uh, off my mark a little bit there, and it kind of messed up the whole section. <laughs> Same there, kind of felt weird. Got a little practice in, about 15 minutes. Um, enough practice to figure out I wanted to use the advanced setup, and uh, I got fourth in the practice lobby in uh, overall time, which didn't prove to be very useful when I was at the Roval, because I got the top practice time there, and then I finished, what was it, 11th, so something like that. So that's not a very good indicator of how things are going to go. I imagine the really fast guys are like, well, oh, I don't need to practice because I'm already immaculate. So they're not even out there putting laps in probably. But uh, we'll do our best. Not too bad a lap. We'll see if we can improve it next, uh, next time around here. Where are we on the track? Ninth? Alright. 
I saw 18 before that, so I assume that's how many people have put laps in so far. Well, about midway of the people that have uh, qualified. I'm okay with that. I'm a little wide there, it feels like, but at least I got some runoff. Cut it one up our 53 1 that we had. Car feels really on edge when you go through that corner. You want to take it pretty fast. This whole circuit feels pretty fast. But, uh. Starts feeling kind of. kind of light. On top of how light it feels already. Right there a little better. This one's always borderline. This part of the track, whether I should shift from third to fourth. Because you chip a little, but I don't think it's enough to. I want to do a shift. Oh, I'll go off track there. Really easy to go off track there and invalidate your lap. But uh, right now we're about uh, equal with my all time best, so that's cool. An all time best that I just got five minutes ago in practice. <laughs> so, that's a. Uh, a nice indicator of how inexperienced I am. Ooh, well, that was a weird like frame drop for a second, but I don't think it hurt too much. As we'll come to the line with an all-time best, and that'll put us 152.4 and 7th. Okay, that's pretty good. I feel like I did a good lap there. I don't know how much time we got? About a minute. Uh, <laughs> about a second and four, 1.4 seconds off of the fastest guy, so, oh man, that guy put a heater down, <laughs> look at that, first and second, and separated by a whole eight tenths, so that guy is real fast, if he can keep it on the track, he's probably got the win, or as long as he doesn't get taken out in the first corner, too, because that'll happen, um, I am out of place, look at that, so we got first and first, the number three car, and second, four, three, six, four, two, five, five, six, fifteen, seven. Um, one of these is not like the other. <laughs> Let me not make an embarrassment out of myself, proving why I don't belong there. But it seems like once we get to that point, then the numbers kind of mix up a little bit more. So I'm just kind of doing a tour. <laughs> the track for a second while I'm waiting for this time because it's more fun than just sitting there staring at the screen. There we go. Time to go. And then watch this. I'm going to be a pro setup guy. Whoa. We're going to be so fast now. The car's lighter because we don't need all that fuel. Watch, we need all that fuel. No, <laughs> hopefully not. Um, get ready for that fast repair. Whenever we have to come in and fix this car. Because you know the front panels are going to be flying off from how fast I'm going. Hood's going to rip off and fly over the top. As we bring it in 19th place. So. About a minute. Unless they uh, ready up here. And we'll release the turtle brigade. Not sure how long it is, it's however long the past races have been, so they've been pretty quick. Um, just the same series as it was the last race I did. Like I said, they just uh, switch out the tracks quicker on week 13, so we get a nice little tour for a lot of the free stuff. I think it's free, yeah, I think it's a free track. Alton. It looks like we're about ready. Just about everyone's on the grid. I'm sure I'll be passed about six times before we make it to turn two, because I'm usually just way too cautious on the start. It's probably more dangerous being as cautious as I am than just going, but I'm just focused on being a defensive driver. <laughs> Giving people excess room, because I don't trust them.
Track temp All is All right, here we go. Fahrenheit. The air temp is 70 Fahrenheit. Here we go. Green flag, green flag. Okay, Colton, 10 minutes to go. And That's 10 minutes off. left. Car right. Keep to the left. Okay. Clear. Guys running into each other. That's cool. Early breaking. So not running into someone. Guy getting sideways in front of me. Got some time behind, so I'm not going to try to pass right now. So that sounds like a bad idea. Keep it steady. Break early because there's a long line of cars here ready to run into the back of each other. Gotta be ready when they start stacking up to break earlier than expected. That guy's ready real early. Alright, getting hit by them behind because they stacked up. Nothing I can do about that if they're uh, going that slow in front of me. Thankfully, we didn't get turned or anything. Sideways, I almost got a little sideways, but not quite as bad as that guy did. Let's think about uh, hitting our marks now. So we've got a little bit of room, we can actually try to be a little fast. So I took that too hard, so we went wide. Let's go fast. Immediately go slow. My iRacing career in a nutshell. But we survived lap one. And I think that was with a zero X. I don't think that contact gave us anything. So we're safe boys. Safety dance. Got through there much better than this guy did. Not sure it's have enough of a run to make a move anywhere soon. sure where the prime uh, passing zones are here. Not uh, smart enough with road racing to be able to identify, especially when I can't take a turn properly. Gotta worry about keeping up before you can worry about passing. see that I'm very slow through there, according to how quickly the guy behind me caught me. I think that whole like two turn sec there I'm pretty bad at. Seems I always lose a lot of time there. Just not quite where I need to be there. Hmm. Hopefully they'll start fighting behind me so I don't have to worry about them for a minute. God, he's diving in so hard, he's gonna try to kill me. I just saw a glance out of my mirror that this guy was going a million miles an hour. Oh boy. So, I get to look forward to that in my future. I'm sure it'll catch up and then throw a Hail Mary touchdown right into my side door. Feather the pedal, get some turn in it. Felt pretty good. Now I don't have someone directly in front of me, so I can kind of visualize what I'm doing with this corner a little better. That guy went wide, he's in the grass, don't come back, kill me. Okay, that's a spot. And that's also how I get a higher I rating than I deserve, because that's the number five car going off. Not a guy I deserve to beat, but a guy I am likely going to beat now. If 
fun track. Um, Stay on it. Keep digging. Do very much enjoy it, even though I'm terrible. Ooh, I tried to go through faster there, and uh, about looped it. Because I know I'm slow through there, so I'm trying to get more time, and then of course, I'm about wrecking myself, so. Maybe think, rethink my approach on that one. Alright, not bad. There's certain areas of the track where I'm better than the guy in front of me, but, uh, Plenty of others that I am not. So we're kind of doing a dance where we get a little bit closer and then fall a little back depending on where we are. But uh, we are now in sixth. I am good with that. Feeling good. Having fun. Car is feeling more nimble now, so I should theoretically be hitting best laps every time here, because I don't think I've uh, done any laps with low fuel and warm tires here yet, so theoretically the car should be in better condition than I've ever had it with this current uh, set of circumstances. Let's see if I can take this a little better this time. Made it a little riskier, but I still didn't get a very good runoff. Speaking of fuel, yeah, we're good. Could have taken out more. More than just that joke, one little, little tiny amount that I took out. Alright, that was a little better than I've been doing. Whew. Feels like it's such a fast track, it feels like. I don't know if that's true. I don't know if it's actually any faster than other road curses that we've been on, but... Feels like uh, lots of high speed turns. So we got this 12 car behind us, about a second, and climbing. And then we got some room behind him. So that's uh, good to know. Don't okay, think I'm gonna catch the guys in front. So that might be the battle, as we have about. Uh, Two laps to go, probably. Asking me to do math while I'm racing is a bad, a bad idea. I think I could probably be taking these turns harder based on um, where the car is at this point, so. Um, probably should be pushing it more. Oh, that was an off track? I didn't think so. I disagree, but that's fine. One X is fine. It's barely anything. Really trying to get through there fast because the guy behind me is catching and I know I'm slow through this section so I don't want him to catch me faster than he's expecting because I'm so slow and then take me out from behind. like to avoid that scenario, so here we go. I pretty much just maintained it and then he's gonna climb me even closer with some draft, so we'll see how this turns out. kind of weird, but I guess it worked halfway. Overdrove it. Not a good time for that, because we're going to the last lap here. Can we hold him off? You know he's going to dive it in at some point. White flag, last lap. Gotta watch my mirror and make sure I know when he's going for it. Overdriving again, because I'm not focused on what I'm doing. I'm focused on the guy behind me. 
common issue I have in this. Focusing hard. Oh god, here's the section I'm not good at. Good enough. I think I kind of outdid him there. Oh, but he's he's catching. Oh, that might be the best I've ever taken that corner. <laughs> Which is not great, but it's better than what I usually do. Last race at the Roval, I was not able to hold off the guy on the last lap as he made the pass. Can I do it this time? Throw it around. Is he gonna make a horrible dive-in desperate attempt from half a second back? Nope, we're good, we got it, all right. As a 15 car, I have gotten a sixth place, all right. You got a toy car on the right. I'm super happy with that. Let me use these advanced flag, setups more often. Phew. Good job. Very a couple good close job. calls. Almost spun out a couple times, but uh, man, I, I really enjoy that finish. So much better than I anticipated. Of course, the guy that's lightning speed got the got the win. Although it was closer than I might have thought. Uh, double, double. Got some guys talking. Let's see if anyone say anything to me. What have you do? Had it muted. Probably not. But uh, nobody got a vocal leader. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Nice, uh, diverse group of people. Like uh, last time. Australia, Japan, Hispano America, New York, and we got some Midwest guys like me and Matt in here. So all over the world. And it was a great race. Didn't see too much carnage going on. So let's uh, pick out what we can find. That was a guy running in the back of me. So was I really that slow? Probably. Yeah, maybe that's the line I need to be taking. I probably need to be taking it wider to left and then cut in like that. That's what I need to be doing. So I had the wrong line. That's why he caught me so quick. Probably frustrated him a bit, but... Then he kind of just gets run over from behind. I'm not sure where that guy thought he was going, but... <laughs> Luckily, that didn't... Man, that set off a chain of events. That guy was off the grass, so that guy went left to avoid him, and now he's spun out. Uh-oh. <laughs> was that my fault? I don't know. <laughs> I mean... I am the butterfly, that is the effect, I guess, but I'm going to pretend I didn't see it. So we're going to watch Luigi knock out this guy into the tire barrier. Darn it, Luigi. Very close racing into a tight corner. That was pretty well done. Good race between those guys. So, uh... 12th car there passes the guy that had run into the back of me then and what'd he do this is the corner that uh, it happened oh no and then he cuts the inside wow right after i was just talking about how i should run that corner more like him he runs it more like i do and cuts to the inside and then hits the tire barrier i don't know if that's irony but it's still pretty you know coincidental and then of course it got a couple of guys running in unfortunately couldn't avoid it. Pretty narrow through that area. Man, that guy's broken and maybe didn't even realize it until he got to that corner and it didn't turn anymore. So, that's where he lives now. Got some blinking. It'll happen with people all over the world. And is that it? That would be it. Alright. So, that's pretty cool. We got a 6th uh, after starting 7th. And uh, above my league. So, that's pretty neat. Um, 
I'll go ahead and put in the description what, uh, whatever split it was, just for some context, because I don't really know. But uh, well, regardless of what it is, I'm very happy with how that went. And I uh, hope it was fun to watch, too. I'll see you next time.